Hello, my name is Carmel, and I'd like to share with you, um, two years ago I uh, got the news that I had breast cancer. It was from a scan and they picked up some lumps and I went into a bit of a shock, like who, me? And uh, it was like... And I just told everybody, and I had so much advice, do this, eat this, eat that. I did have two operations because I really think energetically, if you have manifested an illness, it's better to have it taken away. So I did that, and then I dealt with the underlying emotions. So for me, breast cancer was a gift because instead of taking care of a lot of other people, I was forced to go inside and look at where I held on to any anger, resentments, I was cross at people. Anything I'd held on to, I knew that was really the cause of cancer because your body doesn't lie and it's telling you there's some unresolved issues here. So I started to tune into my body and I did discover that I had not forgiven somebody really close to me and that was causing a problem. So I resolved that issue, I forgave, I let it go, I gave the person love and blessings and really it's so beneficial and any anger that I was holding on to, I had no idea that I actually had a lot of anger that I'd covered up. So my friend in America, she does a lot of healing of cancer patients. And she said, you really have to get rid of all your anger, resentments, blame. I'm like, oh, well, that's really good. But how do you do it? So I was set upon a journey to let go all of those things and actually it's only uh, trapped frozen energy when you look at it uh, we tend to hang on to all our anger and uh, even though consciously we think we've forgotten it it's held in the cells of our bodies so it takes a conscious effort to actually go in look at the feeling and to work on uh, blessing the person, forgiving them, and also ask for their forgiveness of anything that I may have done to them intentionally or unintentionally, because we all have rather a lot of judgment um, on people. I did. And when I really looked at the big picture, not defending myself, I had been nasty at times, maybe I wasn't aware um, so I went back and actually did a whole cleansing process for everyone I could remember in my life who had hurt me, who I'd hurt. So it was really coming back to ground zero. And the amazing thing was I started to feel lighter and lighter and happier and happier and my heart opened more and more. And I just released a lot of old pictures that I was carrying in my head and um, events, I virtually took the boxing gloves off and started, instead of resenting and carrying anything at all, I really started accepting and loving people. And more and more, it's like the love can flow through me now and it's like a flowing river and love showering through me and it is just wonderful. I hadn't realized, I did it because of the breast cancer, but hadn't realized all of the benefits. All of a sudden my life started working perfectly. All the traumas disappeared. Angry people disappeared from my life because I realized I hadn't accepted my own anger. And so I was attracting angry people. So when I look back, uh, two years ago, um, breast cancer was a complete gift. 
and just asking the question, why is it here? What is my body trying to tell me? Because your body never lies to you. You might lie to yourself, but your body is saying, there's something going wrong here and I want some attention. <laughs> so, um, and as females, I think a major pattern that I had was doing everything for everybody else, putting the family first, like I have five children, grandchildren, had a busy job. And so we're programmed really to do for others first and we're not taking care of ourselves. So it was a major thing in learning to love and nurture myself and put myself on top of the list, which, you know, use, I had to use a bit of discipline initially. It's like, well, what do I want? And how can I be kind to myself today? And a lot of that meant not going out so much, having a nice bath, meditating, uh, being with people that uplifted me, didn't drain me. And gradually, I just, you know, the benefits were amazing. So I don't see any illness as, that's so terrible, why did it happen to me? And feeling sorry, it's like, well, what is this showing me? What is my body trying to tell me? And it really made me come home to myself to connect with my higher self. And um, really, I, I think it was a very deep and enriching experience. So I would just encourage everyone to love and take care of themselves. And, you know, if you're in, in an airplane, they say, you know, you should give yourself oxygen before you give it to your child. Well, the same applies to loving yourself and taking care of yourself first before you take care of others. So I would encourage everyone to do that. Um, the benefits are amazing.